Good afternoon, honorable committee members. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. And I'm here to support the Central Coast Heritage Protection Act, HR 2199. My name is Graciela Cabello, and I want to share my knowledge on how public lands affect Latino communities, youth, and why protecting the Central Coast can help re uh, remove economic barriers to recreation and improve access to our natural places. I was born and raised on the Central Coast in the beach town of Santa Barbara. It is known to many as an affluent community, but those of us who grew up there know that the town is not an exception to economic disparities. I am the proud daughter of immigrants who made a life there through hard work, servicing the town's middle class and wealthy residents. During my youth, summer days were rarely spent at the beach, and instead we spent time floating down the San Inez River, seeing wildlife in the area for the first time, and traversing up a mountain to experience the sunset over the San Inez Valley. You see, my, my parents grew up in rural Mexico, surrounded by hillsides, rivers, and agricultural landscapes. And it was because of this resemblance to home and nostalgia that we often visited the Los Padres National Forest. It was a place our family and our extended family could gather that felt accessible and provided something for all ages. These early experiences had a significant impact in the career choices I would later make. In 2015, I joined a startup national nonprofit called Latino Outdoors as the founding national director. It was through this work that I began to better understand the relationship that Latinos have with the environment where cultural heritage, health, recreation, and jobs are concerned. I support the Central Coast Heritage Protection Act because as someone who has been influenced by a long lineage of Latin American and indigenous beliefs, protecting, protecting the natural world is a moral obligation and it is deeply rooted in my culture. We have a history of taking care of the land for, for generations and today I am here to honor that history. Research shows that 68% of Latino voters want Congress to place more emphasis on protecting sources of clean water, air quality, and wildlife habitat while providing opportunities to visit and recreate on our national public lands. This bill would designate over 226,000 acres of wilderness and protect nearly 159 miles of streams as wild and scenic rivers. Polls show that 94% of Latinos in Western states see public lands as national parks, forests, monuments, and wildlife areas, and as, as an essential part of the economy. Many of the communities that surround the, the forest or the Carrizo Plain National Monument have a significant Latino population that relies on these natural resources to make a living, as well as in the tourism economy. They are restaurant owners, farmers, mechanics, and other business owners, and the farm workers that harvest our food. Permanent protection of our unique wildlands wild and scenic rivers will ensure our communities have a sustainable source of drinking water for as well as for agriculture and for hunting, fishing, and other recreation Latinos value. My exposure to these wild places as a child was largely due to geographical access and low economic barriers. This is the case for many of the communities up and down the Central Coast. Many recreational opportunities, opportunities exist within an hour's drive of home for much less than the cost of visiting an amusement park. National parks may provide some of the same benefits, but they are not as accessible to residents as the places in their own backyard. In my current role as the Director of Youth and Community Engagement for Los Padres Forest Watch, I connect some of the area's youth to our most treasured places in the forest. Many of them come from under-resourced families or communities and are struggling with their academ academic performance, social harmony, and other areas of their well-being. Research consistently shows that nature makes children smarter, happier, and healthier. Psychologists believe that experiencing awe from wild places can play an important role in bolstering happiness, health, and social harmony. I have seen this type of cooperation firsthand with the youth in the forest every time we visit a new area. I experience their behavior go from guarded and different and uncooperative when they arrive at the trailhead to upbeat, attentive, and sociable as the day goes on. I'm fortunate to be able to witness the transformative power of our local communities and rivers on the effect it has on the youth. The Los Padres is at the center of one of America's only biodiversity hotspots, which is defined as the Earth's biologically richest and most endangered ecoregions. 
We are all future ancestors, and, I, and we have a historic opportunity to protect this special place for all people and leave a legacy for future generations. I strongly encourage the committee to support H.R. 2199. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Cabell.